Well, home prices are increasing, developers are coming to town, and the construction site in New Albany all taking shape as Intel is coming to Boomtown. Yeah, after multiple negative reports on how the company is performing, finally some positive news tonight. The tech giant announcing a new partnership with Amazon to build AI chips. This comes after the company received $3 billion from the federal government to continue work with the Department of Defense. Now, the question tonight, are people counting, the people who are counting on Intel breathing a sigh of relief? 10 TV's Tara Jabor looks at what these announcements mean for the Intel effect. Intel says it's now in a multi-year and multi-billion dollar deal with Amazon to build AI chips. Ohio Chamber of Commerce President Steve Stiver says those chips and the military chips will be made at the future facility right here in Central Ohio. Good news for Intel, which means great news for Central Ohio. Great for Ohio and Ohio jobs. After months of uncertainty, the tech giant received two big contracts, a partnership with Amazon to build AI chips and a $3 billion deal with the federal government. Every time you have a new generation, you need the new generation of equipment to make that. That's the really big hunks of metal that are driving from the Ohio River to New Albany. As a retired Major General of the uh, United States Army and Ohio National Guard, I'm really excited about that. You know, at any given time, we could have Chinese chips in our military equipment right now, and that's dangerous for our national defense. OSU professor Ned Hill says these announcements puts the rumors to rest about the future of the plant in New Albany. For Intel, it was getting a first customer of size and stature that sends a signal that the strategy is the long-term strategy and they're going to stick to it. Ohio Chamber of Commerce CEO Steve Stiver says these announcements are great, but says the federal government needs to still deliver on its initial promise. Intel has been awarded $8.5 million in Chips Act money and not a single penny has flowed to them yet. Do their job and get that money moving so that they can build this plant in Columbus, Ohio and New Albany because it's important to the future of Ohio's economy and, and America's economy. And Intel's stock has gone down significantly this year, but in the last few days, the stock has gone up about 13%. Reporting in the studio, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.